hi I'm Mipish uh, this video is just an extension to my previous video on a star and Q learning so um, in this video I'm, I'm going to discuss just different features that I have implemented in the grid world uh, that I showed you before so um, let's go ahead and run the a star algorithm and suppose if I close this without giving a map it will say no map selected if I run it again and I don't give the size now it says no size found let's run it again and give the size as 6 so it will create a 6 by 6 grid then we'll um, select a start somewhere here and the goal here then we can put the walls around the start point if you like like this yes so uh, once you have created the grid you can also add bit if you want um, yeah and yeah and if you want to delete any of the I items you just have to click right click on the item it will delete it you just close when you're done the this window will take the map and when you play it it's just the same a star algorithm that I have discussed in my previous videos um yeah so let's let's go ahead and run the uh, q learning algorithm now and see what is the difference so i'll use a previous map here yes so in here you you can see um for e each and every action we have a color assigned so when when this algorithm runs uh, when you just run it you know this um, this um, actions particular policies change their colors so you know this is all in one you have the uh, Q values you have the heat map and you can you know follow the path uh, that robot is following and understand everything um, so this color coding is uh, basically based on um, I'll show you so it's just um, this yeah it's just this so uh, green means a good reward a positive reward and as you move towards red it's a bad reward so and everything in between okay so and this is this is these are the different controls these are the general controls this is the a star control and this is the q learning parameter control um, that's about it thank you thanks for watching